Sontag song is Ladies Who Lunch. That means you consider yourself to be above social media but are addicted to it nonetheless. You are still livid about the finale of Game of Thrones, especially how it ended for Cersei Lannister. And you don't tip well. Do better. If your favorite Sondheim song is Giants in the Sky, that means you are a Disney adult who genuinely enjoys the Hall of Presidents. You have slippers that look like an animal. And you have bangs, and you keep them up. Good for you. You look adorable in your bangs. If your favorite Sondheim song is A Little Priest, that means you were in your college improv group, and you were the only people who liked that Zip Zap song joke that I still feel guilty about. I'm so sorry. You have multiple shirts that have puns on them, and if a joke doesn't land in a conversation, you just repeat it louder. If your favorite Sondheim song is Our Time, you unironically say things like, oh, those were the days. And you post on Throwback Thursday still until you ran out of pictures. And in that case, you went through your grid, deleted all the pictures, and now we're starting again from infancy. If your favorite song is Comedy Tonight, you always order fries for the table. You defend adults' rights to laugh at farts. Farts are still funny, always and forever. And, and you wish that more young people will have seen Mel Brooks's The History of the World, Part One. <laughs> if your favorite song is No One Is Alone from Into the Woods, that means you spend time thinking about your own funeral. <laughs> you love those viral videos of unlikely animal friendships, like, oh my god, when the puppy hangs out with the dog. I'm, I'm on that side of TikTok. And you are very close with your aunt who wears chunky jewelry. <laughs> if your favorite is I'm Still Here from Follies, that means you run an Etsy shop dedicated to cross-stitch of the Golden Girls. <laughs> You genuinely enjoy Dua Lipa and Lady Gaga, but have said out loud that they don't make divas like they used to. <laughs> if your favorite Sonic song is Unworthy of Your Love, as seen earlier, that means you... Woo, thank you. <laughs> that means you run a true crime podcast, and you lecture your friends about how the Joaquin Phoenix movie Joker is derivative of Scorsese and correct their pronunciation of Scorsese. It's Scorsese, not Scorsese. <laughs> if your favorite is Scent in the Clowns, that means you are the fanciest member of your friend group. You, you think that coffee just doesn't taste the same when it comes out of a cardboard cup. <laughs> If your favorite is being alive, being alive, that means you prefer cuddling to sex. You can't sleep without listening to NPR. And you drink your coffee black. If your favorite is finishing the hat from Sunday in the Park with George, that means you have depression. But the kind that makes you seek the kind that makes you create art as a means of validating your own external existence. And you prefer dogs to cats and also humans. If your favorite is Barcelona from Company, that means you have depression. But the horny kind. Like, good for you. That means you're, you either use sex as a coping mechanism or somehow your sex drive isn't impacted by SSRIs. <laughs> and you see Barcelona when referring to the song, but Barcelona when referring to the city. And if your favorite is America, you defend it from purists who say it's not actually a Sondheim song because Sondheim only wrote the lyrics. Cause you know, you're actually more of a dancer and, and you had friends in high school. Oh my God, good, good.